how did you become connected with Grace House? Bill's desire was to actively zero in on the needs of Appalachia. And he did that and he inspired others. And I knew vaguely at some, some point that he had been connected with and worked with Grace House uh, for a few years. In fact, he had just taken his daughter along and he was sharing with me about it. And it was just his way. He said, why don't you get involved? And there was no way of saying no. It was just simple. So um, I went along with him and his daughter. And then the following year, we came back with some youngsters, which was really great. And we did that, as you know, we did that a number of years. Um, I think Bill, he set into motion the efforts of uh, Grace Memorial uh, for the parishioners and the youngsters to get involved. He was the one that got it going. And look at that. That is Bill. That is Bill. Wonderful. You know, Martin, that's a great uh, example of the power of invitation. You know, when somebody's leading the way and someone like Bill is, uh, you know, people are naturally coming in behind him in, in that wake, you know, in that draw that he has. Um, when I came to Grace uh, for the first time, you know, whenever you enter a new community, everybody's, you know, making sure that you're meeting people and you're, you're trying to get to know individuals and everyone is asking you, have you met so-and-so? Have you met this person? And one of the things that I heard when I came here wasn't just, have you met this person? But I often heard from people, we wish you had met Bill. Because uh, he had he had died about a year year and a half before I came, and uh, he was one of those people that uh, that I wish that I had those stories already. I had to to come in late to hear the stories about Bill, uh, but they are foundational for this community, and it's just a such an important example of uh, how our passions lead the way. And if we're drawn into something like Bill was with Grace House on the Mountain, how if we find this place where we can be our full self and exhibit God's love, uh, people follow and, and it's a natural fit. Uh, so he's his story and his legacy lives on here for sure. Yeah. That, that last picture I just shared there was at a work site he was heading up and that was the year that he actually got our daughter to go out to the work sites with them. Uh, she, she actually was on his crew. So um, that was something special also. Um, he, he was serious when it came to the work and stuff, but there was times when he would have a little joke to tell or, or anything like that. So um, he, he was just a very special person. And, and the youth that he got, I, I, can't, I can't number how many um, of the youth that came down throughout that time. True, very um, true. Yeah, there were, there were several. And that's such an important part uh, that we often forget. You know, when, when we are young and growing up, we've, by the time we get to be an adult, we might remember a couple of important relationships, but we forget how important those adults are in our lives who lead us in certain directions um, until we think about it specifically. And that was one of the things that really touched me when we were doing this uh, campaign to raise some funds for Grace House um, and to remember Bill, a lot of the responses that we got were from former youth and, uh, and that was so touching to see um, you know, they're, they're living their adult lives, they're in other places, they're uh, uh, not uh, local anymore, you know, but they were getting in touch because of the impact that not only Bill had on their lives, but their experience at Grace House, that doing something together in community was so foundational for who they became. Um, and that's such an important part of our formation together anytime. So right. an example of that for me. Yeah. 